Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Set and Terror. I hope everybody is well. I gotta share a quick jabber about my kid before I get into the spiel here. You can watch this party, you can skip it. I'll leave whatever. Timestamp. Couldn't think of the word. I'll leave a timestamp down in the description box. But it's my child. My ten-year-old child. He's not a reader. Today at recess, instead of going outside to play, he sat inside and read a book. Get this. Went to the grocery store today. When we get home, he helps put the groceries away when I start dinner. And then he picked up all the dirty laundry and he put it in the hamper. I'm starting to ask myself if I didn't pick the wrong kid up from school. I don't know. I don't know. It was a funny story. I thought I'd share. I don't know what's gotten into him, but I'm into it. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Use all the help I can get around here right now. Anyway, Sagittarius. We're going to throw down for you for January, and I believe that's all 12 of the signs. It's January 4th, so that's not too shabby, right? <laughs> not too shabby. All right. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends the cross watchers are always welcome to the fireside tarot table. Everybody's always welcome by table. And I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello. If you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff. You want to come back, hang out some more? You know the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. It's good to see you. Leave a comment and say hello. I have open comments back up. As long as people aren't being jerks, I'll leave them open. Just throwing that out there. People start being jerks, I will close them off again. Um, what else? What else? What else? Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Did I straighten this one already? It may have. Just double checking. Yes, I straightened this one already. Okay. Never make a life phone decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it is not your story, not your reading, not your message, not vibe with you in any way, shape, or form, it's not making sense in your life, just leave the cards on the tip and walk away. Okay? If it's not yours, it's not yours. Don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you. Right, we're going to move some stuff out of the way and make a little bit of room. We're going to vote cards. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for the message you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. I ask that you help me use it to bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get them thrown down for you. Two shuffles. Oh, next. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Hmm. Energy person you're dealing with. Not saying a word. And one more. I 
Knight of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. Well, you're happy as a clam. It's not a bad thing. You feel like something might not be over. A death cycle hasn't completed. I think they're a little high maintenance. I'm getting clarifiers on all of this. It's like the path is not lit. There's something you don't know with this moon card. Something still eludes you. Okay, with this nine of pentacles on their side, they feel like either they feel like you're codependent or they're getting a little bit codependent. Possibly some codependency issues. But they think you're anxious. Like stressed out. You don't sleep. You don't sleep. Why isn't Sagittarius sleeping? Oh goodness. Okay. Something might not be moving. I don't know if this Knight of Pentacles is stagnation or just slowed movement. All right, let's talk about the Sun card. Why are you so happy? I mean, it's good that you're happy, but... We're reversed. Unfinished business. Star reversed. There's something you haven't healed from. I don't know if this is something from the past. Okay, you're happy, but there's something you haven't healed from. Did you skip a healing process? Why is death reversed here? Why is death reversed here for Sag? Remain reversed. They're hung up on something else. I don't know if it's something or someone. Rambling mics on. I'll have to catch that when I'm done here. I'll catch his playback. I know most of y'all know who Ramblin' Mike is, but if y'all don't know who Ramblin' Mike is, go check him out. He is amazing. All right. Well, give me one more on this. Thank you. They're hung up on a defeat from the past. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? King of Wands reversed. Tower reversed. Why the King of Wands? King of Wands reversed page. Okay. 
There's an age difference here. Possibly an age difference. Why the tower reversed? High maintenance, something not going in their favor. Hmm. I need one more on that. For crying out loud, who's blowing up my phone? King of Swords. They're very logical, they're very straightforward, they're very honest, blunt, almost blunt. Why the Ten of Cups reversed? Two of Cups reversed. Something went south in a family situation with them. And they're trying to rebuild. They're trying to rebuild. They're still coming down off a breakup. All right, why the star reversed for your feelings, uh, not feelings, intended actions toward them. I don't know if this, all this is going down, but this is how you think and feel about them, that they're still hung up on something else. Because they're elusive. There's unanswered questions. Queen of Cups reverse. You're going to pull back. Three wands flew out, hit floor, must be important. You're gonna pull back and wait this out. I don't see you walking away entirely, but I see you waiting out a healing process. Yeah, nine of wands reversed. Until they let their walls down. You're, like I said, I don't see you throwing the towel in completely, but I do see you pulling by your energy not being as combative, not fighting it. Just going with the flow. Give me, give me a hanged man. Give me one on the hanged man. And then we're gonna talk about them. And then the hanged man for Sag. Seven of Swords. Mm. Why the Seven of Swords? Six of Cups, Page of Cups, bottom of the deck right now. I'm going to pull it. Okay. You're still going to remain guarded. You're afraid of getting hurt. This might be somebody you've known for a while. Maybe you've been friends for a while. I see you eventually making the offer, but first, they need to come to a place of acceptance. That makes any sense. Okay, let's, all right, why the chariot reverse for the person Sag is dealing with? Why the chariot reversed? Four of cups reversed. Something's not moving. They're restless. They're not ready to take the cup. One more. They're restless. They're not ready to take a cup. They haven't healed from something. They're not ready to build a foundation yet. Five of cups was at the bottom of the deck. I probably should have shown it to you, but I did see it. They're probably still a little sad about something. 
These three cups could still be spilled for them. They're not ready to take on a fourth. Maybe they have a little bit of a mess to clean up the fool. They do want to jump, just not yet. Why the Nine of Pentacles reversed? Or how they feel about Sagittarius, the moon. I don't know where this is going to go either. They're on the same unlit path you are. But they... They don't know what. Neediness, clinginess, codependency, they don't know why. Give me one more. Ten of Pentacles. They they see a future with you. They do. They just know it's... There's a lot of unanswered questions. I don't think... Okay, there's a difference between knowing somebody forever and knowing somebody forever. You know what I'm saying? You may have been acquaintances. You may have had something... Pentacles, 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 Pentacles. May have had something to do with a work situation. I don't know. Maybe you met at work. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is a getting to know each other or getting to know each other again process. And there's still a lot of unanswered questions, but they do see the potential. What if, What do they think? What do they think? Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords? You're closed off. Possibly a little bit unstable. Extremely sad. One more. There's things you haven't let them in on. Then they can feel it. Six of Pentacles. It's like... There's an uneven give and take here. Somebody's giving more. I don't know if they feel like they're giving more or that you're giving more and they're not giving enough, but they sense an imbalance. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This, I, I just feel like they just want to move slowly. I'm going to go ahead and pull that. Why the Eight of Wands reversed for their intended actions toward you? Why the Eight of Wands reversed? The Empress. Oh. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Why the Queen of Pentacles reversed? They see the potential. Why the Seven of Wands reversed? Justice. Oh, snap. There might be some legal things that need to happen before this can move forward or grow. Things, you may have to hit a brake pedal here, Sag. I know, it's not, that's not what you do. I understand, I get it, I'm a Sag son. We don't know what a brake pedal is. <laughs> We're always on the gas. We're on the gas until the engine pukes. That's just how we roll. It's how, how most of us are. Whether or not you want to admit it, that's how most of us are. We are on that gas pedal until the tires catch on fire, or the engine pukes out, or the tranny drops. We just, we go and go and go, and we just don't stop. But I feel like this is an aspect of your life where you just need to hit the brakes a little bit because there's unknowns. Possibly balance needs to be restored. Possibly there needs to be an end to a third party situation. Possibly there needs to be a break off with like a baby mom or a baby daddy with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Possibly there's money issues. It could be anything. But there's something that's slowing this down. 
why the Ten of Pentacles reversed <coughs> as an outcome, at least for January. I'm not saying forever. I'm saying for January. Why the Ten of Pentacles reversed? Where did you go? Where did you go? Eight of Wands reversed. Temperance revert. Ooh. Don't go. Sag. Sun's still in the upright. Just throwing that out there. I'm going to put it on. Honey. Don't go popping off and causing conflict because it's not moving as fast as you want it to move. I feel like this is what's going to happen. Give me one more. Give me one on the sun. Death, rebirth, eight of swords reversed. No need to worry. Something has to cycle out first, either for you or for them or both of you. A cycle needs to come to an end so something new can be born out of this. Okay, no need to worry. There's not enough information yet. Things may seem stagnant. I don't see it being stagnant forever. Because they see a great deal of potential in you. So, I don't know. Let's get a Moonology. I'm just a tarot reader, guys. I'm not a psychic. I'm just throwing down cards. Your personal issue reaches resolution. Prosperity lies ahead. Give me a wisdom. Whoa! Mm. Okay. Poised and truth be told. Well, we're just going to take them. It's a whole lot of reading to do. It's going to be a long one, Sag. Sorry. Okay. I have to address something. Give me two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. I had to address that. Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Hmm. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that a domestic partner or private domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Hmm. Sage ain't been sleeping. Just throwing that out there. Okay? <laughs> you ain't been sleeping. If this is your story. According to my cards, you ain't been sleeping. Alright, prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. This card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. The card suggests you can have what you want, 
including material things, but you must believe in yourself. This comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you too. You can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy, so now is a good time to make a 12-month financial plan. This card can also signal the start of a new relationship or of sexier times. If you've been wrestling with something for a long time, the new moon in Sturdy Taurus is a sign not to give up just yet. Nice! 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 Alright, out of the Wisdom Oracle, number 48. Poised. Hmm. When you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for deeper, more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You're completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. Nice. Number 14, truth be told. People tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt open conversation. It's to time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth we found after you communicate honestly and see how you're doing so is so has helped mm. and see how you're doing has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. And y'all be surprised how much brighter that path gets when people start talking. Sometimes people miss the talking part of a relationship. Okay. My Sagittarius brothers and sisters. Peace, love, and light, y'all. Make it a banging bomb of a January and a wonderful 2022. I will catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and light.